folks, this is Rainer here from tradingwithrainer.com. Alright, so this week Forex analysis, alright, to be frank, I don't really see much potential setups that is unfolding right now, and I guess the only chart that I'll be looking at the coming week will be the Euro Pound, alright, so this is the chart of the Euro Pound weekly, and let's go through with you how I'll plot my SNR levels, alright, so one here and one here. Basically, I'll use a, a, an area or region to highlight better. Okay, so as we can see, price the resistance is in between the eighty-seven thirty-nine and eighty-seven fifty area, and the support will be around the eighty-three ninety-nine and the eighty-three fifty area, right? So if I were to go to some round numbers, I believe I can actually do it there with the eighty-four. This could be eighty-three fifty, right? See how nice it lines up, right? So for the resistance, I would say eighty-seven fifty. And perhaps 88 would be a nice level. Let's see. Yeah, 87, sorry. Yep, so it's in about a 50 pip, 50 pip range, alright, for the support and resistance, which I've uh, drawn right here. And as you can see, if you notice, I actually went long last week and I got stopped out of this trade, alright. The reason I went long was because of this bullish engulfing pattern, alright. But as you can see, price actually came back lower this week before heading up higher and I got stopped out by this week over here right so most traders actually feel that oh he has a loss and you know we'll move on to the next trade alright but for, for me actually what I'm seeing is that a loss actually but however this trade actually still present a, a long opportunity right because the reason being right what we have this week actually here if you notice is what I call a bullish engulfing pattern right this candle here so no, no doubt that the week of that candle stopped me out of my previous trade however there's no reason for me not to go long again, right? Because the trade is actually still valid, right? Bullish and golfing at the support area, right? So, of course, I'm looking to get long again. However, this trade has actually, a, I would like to caution on it because looking at the daily chart, right? What we see here is actually price being trapped in the range over here, right? So, price failed to close higher out of this resistance area, right? So, what... I would like to see before I get long on this pace for price to actually break and close above this resistance area here and come back down to retest before I get long, right? So a breakout and retest before getting long on the euro pound, right? So possibly if that happens, I will get long around this region around over here, which is the 84.59 area, right? And with my stops below the swing low over here, potential profit targets will be towards the 87.50 level, which is here, right? So again, if that comes to fruition we are looking for a potential about I'll say close to one to two risk reward for this trade alright so yep that's that's about the only setup that I have actually come across this week but nonetheless I have some discussion regarding the British pound in the coming week alright so let's look at the British pound as you can see this week the British pound actually rallied higher before closing much lower for the week I've looked at the weekly chart for all the pound pairs alright and you can see over here this one here this candlestick right sorry this candlestick pattern here right this one here right notice how price came out higher before closing much lower for the week all right so would I go short well not really yet because of the fact that it's not convincing to go short because price actually broke out of the resistance level and right now is just below it so I'll still wait for further further price action before you know going for a short However, look at other pairs and you'll notice a similar pattern as well. The pound OZ, right? We have a uh, bearish engulfing as well over here. The pound OZ. And looking at the pound New Zealand, again, another bearish pattern here, the one over here. Alright, so the British pound looks set to actually fall lower for the week, alright? So, so do take note in mind that. I have actually a bearish bias on the British pound. However, I wouldn't go shorting on a weekly chart just yet. So for those intraday traders, you may actually look for a short position on the lower time frame, like the 15 minutes or the one hour time frame. So yep, that's that's about it for this week Forex analysis. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right. So for more information and for more educational materials, you can hit up my website at tradingwithrainer.com. All right. Thank you.